Hey, what's up, people? It's me, M. Kwan, here with Avora TV. Peace and blessings for out there. I hope you guys are well. Now, this, if you hadn't seen it already, is the brand new BlackBerry Q10. It's an awesome, awesome device. And um, what I wanted to do in this video was show you how to side port some of the apps that are available uh, on Android um, that is unfortunately lacking or somewhat missing from BlackBerry 10. OS onto either your Q10 or your Z10, basically any BlackBerry 10 device. Now before I continue, I want to say a massive thanks to James at CrackBerry.com who's, who's been instrumental, helped me to try and figure this out, uh, provided me with the file, uh, the .bar file, which you'll find out more about in this video, as well as sort of guiding me through the process and just helping me figure out um, how to do, deal with this. So a big thanks to CrackBerry.com and also the guys at Android. Uh, bars.net as well. Um, I'll leave the links down below. Now, let's just talk about BlackBerry 10 for a moment. BlackBerry 10 is an awesome OS, okay? It's uh, smooth, it's simple, it's got this beautiful flow to it that really, um, for me anyway, it seems to be lacking in some of the other uh, major OSs, things like iOS and even Android. Um, and that's one of the things I like about BlackBerry 10. I use this as one of my daily drivers now. But, but, there is a big but. One of the issues that we do have is a lack of good quality popular apps. And I'm talking specifically about Instagram, okay? Now, if you have a look at my app tray, you'll see that there is Instagram over there. And the reason I got that over there is uh, because obviously I'm a hardcore user of Instagram. Um, and Instagram on this is not a native app, but it does work pretty well. I mean, this is the app running here. You've got access to everything that you would expect. It's on the right sort of uh, display screen and everything else. And, you know, there's a picture. I want to like that picture. I want to make a comment. I can do all that sort of stuff as well. I want to check out my own profile. Yeah, here's my profile. Um, everything that you would expect from Instagram is here. Now, how do you get this onto your BlackBerry 10 device. Well, it's actually very easy, very simple. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the screen flow thing so you can see exactly what you need to do. So just give me a second. Okay, so we're on to screen sharing. Forgive the hair, it's just been one of those days. Anyway, so what you're going to need is actually surprisingly very, very simple. There's a couple of steps and I'm gonna take you through those, um, but it's generally a lot more simpler than you'd uh, imagine and really you can be set up in the next sort of five ten minutes So the first thing you're going to need is Google Chrome This is the browser that you're going to need if you don't have Chrome It's really easy. Just you know use your existing browser go to Google and go to Chrome and then Basically download that because this is going to be the easiest way to port those apps over Once you've got Google Chrome what you need to do is you need to open up a tab Okay, show you this from the beginning open up a tab uh, in fact, let me show you here. Once you open up a new tab, this is generally what you will see. Go to Chrome Web Store, and once you get to Chrome Web Store, you should find a um, sort of search bar thing. Type in Playbook App Manager, and I'll leave the instructions down below. Playbook App Manager. Once you find that, this is the app that you're looking for. Click that. Once you click that, you will find a install kind of button um, somewhere. Install that. Once you've installed that, it, it's a good idea to um, to actually bookmark that because once you've bookmarked that, you're going to need it. So I've bookmarked this already, and I'm going to load this up. This is what should happen when you load it up. You'll see a page like this. It says Playbook App Manager Options, Device Host Name IPs. This should be blank. There should be nothing on there. I've put mine on there, but there should be nothing on there. Um, what you now need to do is you need to go to your BlackBerry, okay, and you need to go into settings. Now, just in case any of you have forgotten how to do that, go into your sort of app tray, swipe down from the top, find settings, and once you get into settings, you need to look for, um, where, did it, where is it, where is it, where is it, you need to look for security and privacy, okay, security and privacy. Once you've found security and privacy, scroll all the way down until you can go down no further, and you'll find development mode. Now hit development mode because we need that. Once you're into development mode, what you need to do is you need to turn it on, okay, and it will ask you for a password. 
Uh, you can put whatever password in. Let me just show you now. I'm going to put my password in. It should then say development mode is now connected. I don't know how clear this is going to appear on the screen, um, but it should it should show up now. Underneath that section, you'll find something that says development IP address. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you tag exactly what it is. So on mine, it's 169.254.1.9. Just put that in to this section over here. Once you do that, you hit save, and then you need to get your micro USB, connect that to either your Mac or your Windows uh, machine, plug that into your... Uh, BlackBerry 10 device and it should say device connected to computer once it's connected to the computer you might have BlackBerry link come up just ignore that we don't need that for a moment down at the bottom you'll see manage your device and that should show up exactly the same as what you find on the development IP address okay make sure it's exactly the same hit that now the first time you hit that you're gonna get a security window that comes up saying do not proceed security risk ignore that just ignore that and go to proceed anyway it's just a security method that Google Chrome employs to make sure that you know what you're doing once you do that this is a screen that you should find this is a list of all the apps that are installed on your uh, device now here's the next thing you're gonna need to see the link at the bottom of this video because at the bottom of this video there is a link to Instagram Dot bar. This is a, a particular Instagram bar file that is uh, an Android file that will specifically work for BlackBerry 10 devices. Um, you'll find that at the bottom. What you want to do is you want to hit that. That's a link that I've uploaded to Dropbox, so it's perfectly safe. Uh, download that. And once you've downloaded that, what you want to do is hit the install apps. Find that particular file. I've got a lot of files, but just find that particular file. Double click it. And then on the left-hand side over here, you'll see um, basically a progress kind of like old school, you know, 10% complete, 20% complete, this, that, the other, until it gets to uh, application installed. This is what you will find over here. Once you've installed that app, simple. All you need to do, pull out your BlackBerry 10 device, um, turn off development mode, and you're good to go. And it's as simple and easy as that. Now that's just for Instagram. You can do this with a whole range of other apps. I've got Pulse, for example, installed. Works really well on this. It's you know on par to what I would expect from my HTC One or my iPhone 5. It works really well. There's a bunch of other apps. If you want to find other Android apps that you want to install over onto your BlackBerry 10 device, head on over to androidbars.net. Now, uh, generally, most of the bars... Um, on, on this site are okay, but there's quite a few that you have to play around with, mess around with, um, and the best thing is actually to go to crackberry.com and go into the forums there and see which are more popular, which ones work. Um, for example, I've had no luck with a good, decent YouTube bar to work on my BlackBerry 10 device, so I'm just sticking with the, um, what's the word, the browser version because it just, you know, it works and it's just too much hassle trying to play around with, with other bars that just don't seem to be working. So that's it. Now, uh, back to Instagram. One of the issues with Instagram, one of the issues with generally this system, is obviously these applications aren't applications that are meant for the BlackBerry 10 device. It would be nice if BlackBerry and you know Facebook or Instagram, whichever company is running it at the moment, can really push in gear to get a native app for the BlackBerry 10 device. But um, that's not the case. We're having to rely on this port, which means that you are going to have an issue when you first log in. Now, um, what you need to do is you will see the normal login screen. It's going to um, not work for you at all. What you need to do is go round the back, basically. And what you do is when you log in for the first time on your BlackBerry 10 device, you must reset password via Facebook. You must reset password via Facebook because that's the only way that you'll be able to actually use the app. So that's something to be aware of. Reset your password via Facebook. Otherwise, Instagram on either the Q10 or the Z10 will not work. But once you get to that, once you get that done, it will be perfectly fine. You'll be able to take photos. You'll be able to comment, like, everything that you would expect 
on your BlackBerry Q10 or Z10 device. Now, I hope that's been helpful. I really wanted to get a screen share uh, application, but I haven't been able to find anything. Um, so I'm sorry I can't kind of take you through the entire process. But if you follow these steps, it should be fine. The other thing I'm going to do for you is this application. It's um, this website, sorry, crackberry.com. Particular post was called Sideload uh, Apps Your BlackBerry Using uh, Google Chrome. I'm going to point the link again. All the links will be down in the description bar. One to the Instagram bar, one for AndroidBars.net, one for this particular how to do, and it's really good because you'll see all the steps as well, exactly as I've mentioned them. Just follow them, do them the best that you can, and it should work perfectly. And that should be it. Then you should get Instagram on either your Q10 or your Z10. I hope that's been helpful. I've not seen any other tutorials like this. If I can get a screen share app, then I will perhaps do another video and show you the steps exactly as they appear. Leave a comment down below if you've got Instagram or any other apps. Um, let me know how they're running. Uh, if you like this video and you want to share it with other people, please do so. Hit that share button, hit like, and make sure you subscribe to us for awesome, more awesome content coming up in the next few days. Until then, that's it from me, Senior Editor M. Kwan. I will see you in the next video. Keep it geek. Peace and blessings.